Hello and good morning, everyone. Well, it might not be morning for you, but it is for me. And I'm up nice and early today and ready to start a new game, which is going to be Firewatch. So as usual, I don't know a lot about this game. Pretty much everything that I know has just been hearsay. I think it's gonna be in first person because a lot of people said whenever I was playing Outer Wilds, they were like, oh, this reminds me of Firewatch. So I think we'll be in first person. Maybe the graphics will be similar. And then I do know that we are a park ranger, I believe. So I think we're gonna be in the woods, in nature, out in the mountains. I didn't have any like park ranger outfits to wear, but I wore this because I thought that it gave grizzly bear vibes. And I don't know if there will be bears, hopefully not. I mean, I'm fine with bears as long as they don't attack me. Um, so we'll see if there are bears. I don't know if there are bears, but maybe there will be and maybe they'll be cute and sweet and friendly and maybe not maybe they'll kill us so anyway there's only one way to find out let's just get into it press x to start okay so we appear to be on top of a cliff <laughs> this seems extremely safe and not dangerous at all oh okay new game load game settings special features let's look at settings volume we'll just keep everything there display subtitles i always like to have subtitles on Auto save, show location on map. Okay, love that. Okay, we also can adjust the brightness, which I really like. We'll leave it as it is for now and yeah. New game, how many save slots do we have? Four save slots. Okay, let's go number one. Sounds like we're in a restaurant. Panic Inc. Oh my God, I should work there. <laughs> Hire me, please. Boulder, Colorado, 1975. You see Julia. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. Oh, I'm Henry. Okay, you, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. Late 20s, professors and grad students. Okay, so she's smart. She's gorgeous. She's my age. We love her. Let's approach. You are drunk. Oh, okay. Well, so what's your, you know, major God, not this guy. Is this really who I am? You, you're pretty. I'm gonna go with what's your major. You slur the word major and it smells like cores. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says, and I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours, she asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology? <gasps> okay, she's sassy, we love her. Was that a burn, you ask? She says definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asks if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Okay, things move quick in Colorado. Can I look around? Oh, oh, I can. Okay, cool. What am I in an elevator? Hello, oh. Okay. Oh, wow. This absolutely gives me Outer Wilds vibes. Now I know why everybody said that. R2 to use objects. Backpack. Pick up. Love it. Oh. Is this where I want to be? Can I press these? No? Okay. One, two, three, four. I'm assuming this is my truck, but I wonder if I can explore a little. Oh gosh, it's dark. Well, surely I'll drive out of here, huh? Load gear. <gasps> Wait, I have on a wedding ring. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You both drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. 
All right, we love beer, we love the mountains. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. <gasps> you pick up the beagle and she names him Bucket. You adopt the Shepherd and name him Mayhem. <gasps> oh God, I'm faced with a choice. Well, Julia is in love with the beagle and wants to take it with her to class. And I love the idea of that. Although, I do know that the shepherd could probably help protect her, but a uh, bucket? I can't resist bucket. Bucket's a good dog, and a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him too. 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Kids? They're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple little idiots. Oh, great. <laughs> that would be pretty good or one day, why rush? Um, let's say one day, I'm not in a rush. She looks away out toward the mountains. We have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, mister. Don't worry, you assure her. You tell her she has the body of an undergrad. <laughs> My ovaries didn't get the memo, she says, laughing it off. One day, okay? Okay, one day, she says. Six months later, you get engaged, lying in bed on a Sunday morning. That's sweet. That's sweet. PSA to anybody who wants to propose. It does not have to be a big elaborate thing, okay? Keep it low key. Keep it small. Keep it between the two of you. That's how it should be done. Thur thoroughfare trailhead. Wow. Oh, it's pretty here. I wonder if I can jump. Oh, no, but I can run. Fire danger today. Prevent forest fires. Oh, no. Okay, high chance of fires today. Um, yikes. Okay, so square helps me run. My triggers, oh, my triggers just zoom. Or one of my triggers does. Nice. Okay, I already got my gear. Do not forget to check in. No fireworks. Warning, thoroughfare trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. Therefore, or thoroughfare, sorry, is a primitive backcountry trail. Whoa. You're in their country. Learn to live with bears. Oh. So there are bears. So you're saying there are bears. Bear tooth point. Well, you know, that seems like there's a bear there. Wapiti Meadow, Mule Point, Thunder Canyon, Jonesy Lake. Ooh, I want to go to Jonesy Lake. <gasps> Ruby River. Gorgeous. Where am I? Does it say you are here somewhere? Where am I? Thoroughfare Trailhead. Okay. Well, I guess I should just go. My gosh, I want to just like try to go everywhere, but I guess I should stay on the main trail. Oh. 1980. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. Four hours late, oh God. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad or you ignore her. Oh God. I'm gonna ignore her. You don't touch each other all night. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. You make some coffee and go to work. 
1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man, or you frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Oh, Victoria's Secret model, honey. Very nice. <laughs> Wings and all. Oh. Oh, wow. This lighting is beautiful. Oh, and I love the shadows. Yeah, this is really pretty. These graphics absolutely are giving me the Outer Wilds vibes, so um, I understand why people said that whenever I was playing it. And I mean like the vibes, not the Outer Wilds. Okay, I know the name of the game, okay. All right, Two Forks Lookout Tower, eight more miles still, dang. Eight miles, is that where we're heading? X to climb over structures. Oh. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. What? Bucket gets kicked, but 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 fuck D dog. Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him away, or you beat his goddamn face in. Man, we have a lot of violent options. I'm gonna scare him away. You reach into your pocket like you've got a gun and threaten to kill him. You manage to scare all three of you. He runs away. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Oh no. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. <gasps> okay, girl boss. Yale's in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. <gasps> Convince her not to take the job or agree if she commutes back and forth. I'm not going to convince her not to take the job. You'll ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Nineteen Nineteen-eighty-five. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Uh-oh. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it, or you make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. What is up with these choices? <laughs> I'm going to say that we should talk to someone about it. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. <gasps> she is only 41. Oh, that's terrible. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Oh, that's awful. <gasps> Journal. <gasps> Wait. Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I don't get to do anything else there? <laughs> I didn't even get a good look. All right, Bucket is getting older. <laughs> Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. 1987, Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Ugh. 
Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. Talk about a turn off. You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. So her family's from Australia. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple months. <gasps> oh, God. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility or you are determined to take care of her by yourself. <gasps> oh, God. Oh, this is hard. This is hard because I'm not a nurse and she should have proper care. But also, I don't want to move her into a facility. Oh God, I don't know what's better for her. I'm going to say... Oh. oh, God. Oh, <laughs> oh, God. Here's the thing. If I move her into a facility, then she's going to have care all the time, which is probably what she really needs. But there's also the risk of it not being a good facility and the caretakers not doing as they should, which we know is a thing that absolutely happens. But also if she stays at home with me and I'm just like counting the hours down until the nurse is there, then my life is taking care of her and maybe I'm not even properly taking care of her. Oh, but I want her to stay home. Oh, that might be a mistake. That might be a mistake. Okay. Also, just thinking back to that journal that I got to look at for like one second and the drawing of a naked man. I'm assuming that was me. So maybe I've got Julia's journal, you know, like her, her sketchbook kind of, I didn't, I, I literally didn't see anything else other than a uh, naked flaccid man. Can I look at my notes and documents? Okay but I don't have the journal to look at. All right. Oh gosh, Julia, I feel sorry for her. That's so young for that to be happening. Oh my gosh. Hello. Oh, oh. It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. Oh no. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. Yeah? You put a chair in front of the bedroom door or you trust that she sleeps like a rock? Dude, are you serious right now? No, you don't leave the house. Oh my God. Okay, put a chair in front of the door. What is he doing? You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. I know where this is going. Oh. Whoop, whoop. One night you're stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a point ten and are taken to jail for the night. <gasps> you consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Oh, 
Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you that Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. So he just lets her go, basically. I mean, obviously we don't really have much choice, but you take it. Okay, we take the job. Which is what, this job in the woods? Oh, enter the lookout tower. Oh, perfect. I love that it gives me a little objective. I saw something pop up on the, oh. Thoroughfare lookout. Okay. Oh gosh, see, it's so hard for me because even though it gives me an objective, I'm like, but what if I wanna do other stuff? Am I gonna like, Ugh, no, you know what? Just trust the game, just trust the game. It wants me to enter the lookout tower, so enter I shall. Ooh, but what's down here? <laughs> but wait a minute, what's down here? Okay, so we can probably just follow this trail or both trails, but maybe we should do that in the daytime. I don't want to get eaten by a bear. Oh, look how pretty. <gasps> Ooh, the moon. Okay, beautiful. All right, let's actually get into the lookout tower. I'll f I will follow the directions. I will try to be good. I can't really see anything at night anyway. Wow. This is a good spot. Ooh, I wanna go there. Okay, so we are pretty much like 360 covered by mountains. <gasps> What's that? Oh, thoroughfare lookout. <gasps> oh, so there are going to be multiple towers. Okay. Turn on the power. Here? Damn, he smacked that thing. Pick up the radio. Hello? Previous reply, next reply. L2 to select dialogue. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Ooh. Okay, you've killed three ex-husbands. You're rebelling against mom, or nobody back home can stand you. Wait, how do I pick one? You're just going to wait me out on this? Ugh, fine. Wait. But I'm going to take a second here and have a guess about you. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. But nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Huh, is that it? Close. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. Oh, okay. Firewatch. Day one. I couldn't figure out how to reply. Oh. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Answer radio call. Oh, okay. Well, let's look around a little bit. Let me put the... Can I put the radio back down? Pick up pine cone. 
Examine. Yup, it's a pine cone. Mm-hmm. Drop. Oh, okay, yeah, just set that there. What did I, what was I writing? What was I writing? <gasps> April 28th, 1989. Tomorrow's the big day. Was going to drive up today, but there's a guy coming by from the university to grab another box of books, and he was a real pain in the ass about doing it before I left. Means I get to catch the nugget Nuggets game. The Nuggets game tonight. Not that Phoenix isn't going to take this series in three straight. There's always next year. Not sure I'll get another chance to write until I've settled in. I'm pretty sure the drive up to Lander is going to wipe me. Okay, May 1st, 1989. Hiked in last night. Got lost a lot on the way here. And then my boss, Delilah. And then met my boss, Delilah. Real piece of work. Hopefully we don't have to talk much. Maybe I'm just grumpy from lack of sleep. Didn't get a wink last night and was pretty sure there was a bear sniffing around my tent. <gasps> it's me. I actually made a good fire last night and flipped through Julia's journal. Ah, so that was where the flaccid man came from. That's me. I'll stop calling him the flaccid man, okay? I still feel weird about having it. Susan thinks it's a good way to, what's the word she used? Stay connected to the real jewels. But I was sitting there looking at it and I don't know if it's a good idea for me to keep doing that. It didn't feel good, and yeah, like I said, I didn't sleep great after that, but it was probably the bear. All right, it's late afternoon, and I got to check in with the boss. I imagine I won't have a hell of a lot to do. Oh, look, there's a picture of us. <gasps> oh, I think that's me and Julia. What do you think? Pick up the bleach, cast iron pan, coffee percolator, cookbook, dish soap, National Forest Guidebook. National Forest of Wyoming. Okay, so we're in Wyoming. The Singular Mind. We've got books. Death Strikes at Two. The Patriots. Birds of Wyoming. Okay, I want to look at that. Supplies. wonder if I should be interacting with any of this. Toolbox. Thermos. Looks like I can just pick it all up and examine it. Examine. The singular mind. Have you considered the untapped power of your own mind? Do you often ponder the unexplainable? Do you find yourself seeing that which is not there? Do you yeem to explore the labyrinth of your own psyche? Yeem? Is that a word? Yeem? Okay, let's set those down. Ooh, how cute. Flora of the Shoshone poster. <gasps> Beautiful. Trees, flowers. Prairie fire. Uh-oh. Okay, I need to reply. Sorry, I guess I slept in. L2 to select dialogue. I am pressing L2. Release. Hey, sorry. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus. I guess it's what, 6? Six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Yes. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? West? Which way is west? Are those fucking fireworks? Where? Oh, use compass. West. <gasps> I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Yes. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Oh, buddy. All right. Like, kick the shit out of them? Can I write them a ticket? I'm going to say, can I write them a ticket? Do I write them a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. <laughs> Convenient. Convenient. That's one word for it. 
Okay. Um, lower compass. Perfect. Got my backpack. And I need to get a, a rope out of the box. Some box on the way. Hopefully I see that box. Oh, boy. And I need to head west. So I'll probably need to get my compass back out. Oh, and quick. I guess I can move quicker, huh? Oh, up to read map. Find rope in NFS cash box 306. Oh, zoom in. So that's where I am. Cash 306. Oh, so I need to turn left. Is that going to show which way I'm moving? Yeah. I think I think I need to stay on this. Oh man. Oh gosh. Okay, hold on, hold on. Wait, where am I? Am I the red dot? I'm the red blinking dot, so I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the total opposite way. <laughs> okay, hold the phone, hold the phone. Sorry, bear with me while I learn these controls, okay? You know how it goes. Oh, maybe this? Oh, outhouse. Generator. How do I get my map up? There we go. Okay, so... There's the lookout, so I need to go this way, I think. Maybe? Oh my god. I am not good at reading a map, I'll tell you that much, as if that wasn't clear. How about now? Okay, I'm kind of going that way, but I think I need to go to the left to get back on the trail. I can't run with the map in my hand. Is this the trail? Oh, good. I think this is where I want to be. <gasps> yes. Okay, 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 okay. I think we're finally where we want to be. Thank God. Wow. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's go, Henry. H-Dog. Oh, is that it? Tell me this is it. <gasps> yes. I found the supply box. I found the supply box. Great. <laughs> Delilah said, um, okay, like I care. One, two, three, four. Wonderful. Ron. Hey man, guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked. Hiking into the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> let's get fucked, dude. Ranger Rick, Will Armstrong. Wow. Amazing view. Ooh, so if I go up a little bit further, then I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get an amazing view. I will be doing that really quick. Let's take the old rope. Gorgeous. Can I take the little granola bar too? Yeah. Examine. Eat. Okay, it said there was an amazing view this way. Wait, but was it this way or this way? Hold on, let me look back at it. Oh, also I should probably close the box. Although there's nothing in it. Up. Oh. Uh, to the right. Okay, to the right. Can I close the box? Oh, I guess I'll take the note. Keep. Yeah, I kind of want to keep everything. Copy information. <gasps> no way! Oh, that's really cool. Wait, that's really cool. We can copy it onto our map? <gasps> I love that. What a smart feature. Okay, before we go to the people with the fireworks, let's go look at the amazing view. Although I do know that the fireworks are probably more important. Um, I am a bad decision maker, so here we go. 
Could this be it? This view. This vista is incredible. This vista is incredible. Which one? Uh, down the hill from my tower. There's a canyon and then the rest of the book. Everything. Yeah, you should see what I'm looking at. An eagle has been hovering over this gorge for the past hour. <laughs> and maybe if you're good, you can come by and see it at the end of the summer. Okay, Delilah. Hey there, Delilah. All right, let's go towards the fireworks. And write them a ticket or give them a stern talking to. Gosh, it's so pretty. I just, I really want to just walk around and explore. Although I know for a fact that I would get lost. I don't remember if this is where I came from. Whoa, this is cool. <gasps> Ooh. Oh. That sounded like an animal. I hear a bear. Or something. Okay, okay, let's go back towards the tower. Back towards the tower. Where is the tower? I love the, like, ambient nature sounds. Where is my lookout tower? Oh, there it is. Okay. So... Was it this way? I guess it was west. So that way. I hear them, but I don't. Oh, I can't. I can't jump off the cliff. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to lie. I'm getting a little bit stressed out about trying to navigate this. I am like. Oh, here we go. Oh, look, there's another box. Oh, let's check this one too. Open. How do I open? Is this the one I already opened? Is this 306? Oh, I already got in there. Okay. 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 West. Wait, so I was heading the right way. Potentially. Oh gosh. See, I just, I don't know because it said West out of my window. So I'm assuming <laughs> that's the direction I should be heading. Also, Delilah did not yell at me for looking at the pretty vista. So I feel like that is also kind of promising. Oh, what was that? Oh my God. Oh, I was kind of joking about getting eaten or attacked by a bear, but rope hook, wait, rope hook, attach rope to hook, shale slide, it's steep. Oh, I'm going to climb down. <gasps> oh, this is cool. Rappel, rapple, baby. Rapple, baby, rapple, baby, rapple, baby, rapple. Every time I see rappel, I want to read it rapple. No, oh! No. Ow! Report climbing accident. How? Ow. Hey wrong with you my rope snapped coming down the shale slide you didn't break anything did you no i think i'll make it well be careful for christ's sake yes delilah okay we're still heading west good Ooh, but i want to go over there Who is this going to be, I wonder? You know, is it going to be teenagers? Is it going to be a family? Kids? Ooh. 
Wow, it's, oh my gosh, look, it looks like Pride Rock from The Lion King. Wait, what's that? Beer can. Clean up. Red Eagle, brewed in Wyoming. Okay, a local brewski. Loving that. Okay, let's just do a little cleanup crew while we're here. Oh, I guess I can... Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Okay, I like Henry's voice, I have to say. Okay. Oh, one more. Got it. Oh, look, there's a fire, too. Oh, my God. And whiskey? Damn, they were partying. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Ah. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Got it. You got it, boss. Okay, so they're drunk. Doing fireworks. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? No, it doesn't. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Okay, so true. What's this? Two pairs of clothes. Oh, Lord. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously <gasps> still there, so tell them off and then head back. Um. Uh-oh. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Oh, I hear music. Oh, these are panties. Oh, Lord. Uh, there are, uh, pant pants. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? Panties? Another bra. <gasps> There's a... Uh, yes? There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know. Two? Yeah. <laughs> I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Okay. I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? <laughs> oh boy, enjoy dealing with that. Hey girls, let's put the sparklers away, girls. Oh, hey, put that down. Seriously, it was expensive. Fucking cool it with the fireworks. Please just put it down. You won't light anymore. This guy's creepy too. They are drunk. You probably have a tiny dick. Chelsea, it's my boom box. Can we go? Look, let's just run to the other side of the lake or something. You're gross. You're just some sad man out in the woods. What? Where are they going? Find a way back to Two Forks Lookout. Wait, so I'm just going to leave the drunk teenagers in the water to swim. Um. It went fine. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. Can I swim? No. Okay, I'm sorry. It just, it seems like a bad idea to leave the girls in the lake. Two forks, the lookout. Fire lookout. That's where I'm headed, right? Okay, the music is bopping. I gotta say. The music is absolutely 
bopping. Oh, look at this nice little river. Well, it's not really a river. I guess it's more of like a stream, huh? Okay, hold on, hold on. I feel like I'm in the desert over here. How do I get my map back out? Well, let's see. I feel like I was coming from the east. So maybe it is right for me to go this way. I mean, what's the worst that could happen, you know? Worst case scenario, I don't know what. Wow. The scenery is so interesting over here. I'm sorry, I literally just so can I oh. have a bit of a confession to make. <gasps> what is it? Um look, I was I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's not a big deal. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Will do. Okay, I like Delilah. I have to say, I do. I like Delilah. I get good vibes from her. Um, I think she's cool. I think she's chill. I think Henry's probably going to fall in love with her, and that might be a problem. But I don't know. That's just a guess. Ooh! Ooh! Nearby storm, oh lord. Oh, that's not good. Wow, this is so cool. Is that smoke? What is that? Ooh, another box. Let's open it. Here we go. One, two, three. I cannot believe they have these set to one, two, three, four. That is actually insane. Beautiful. Copy information. Okay. What's this? Oh, that's like the deer that I saw. Danger, bravery, the great outdoors. Defend our frontier. Can I take that? No. Ooh, a flashlight. Love. Oh. Ah. Oh, God. Our three to toggle flashlight. Gorgeous. Horn. Yeah, I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. In the boxes? Why's that? I don't really know what I'll do with the deer horn. Firstly, they're called antlers. And secondly, stay out here long enough and you'll get creative. Can I keep it? Should I just hold on to it? <gasps> cave? What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Oh. Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. For access, key available at Ranger Station, Du Bois, Wyoming. Gate to cave. Report this locked cave. cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, sorry, Hank. Wait, I'm sorry. I love Henry and Delilah. Okay, well, maybe that was a shortcut, I guess. 
I don't know. Something tells me to to hold on to this antler. It just feels right. I wish I could just like put it in my backpack. Whoa. Creepy guy. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. <gasps> the creeps? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I I don't think so. Henry, there's there's something I something someone should have told you about this area. What? What is it? It's outside. Come on. <laughs> And go as they please. It's 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 madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Oh my god, I love Delilah. Oh my god, I love Delilah. I love her. I love her. She is so funny, she's so sassy, she's so silly, she's a smart ass. My kind of girl. <laughs> okay, so the guy was just up here shining his flashlight. But I mean, he's just looking around, right? He was right here. Drop down. <gasps> wow, look at this. So did he come from there? Also, where am I? Okay, um, how do I look at my map? Is there a button to look at my map? No. I don't remember how. Okay, let's pick our antler back up. <laughs> this is my, um, it's my, like, secure, my security antler. My emotional support antler. That's what it is. My emotional support antler. Damn, we are just raw dogging these cliffs, huh? Okay. Okay. We couldn't climb down a cliff with a rope, but we're just going to climb up these. That's totally fine. Okay. So... East is this way. Can I go this way? Maybe through here? No, that's a rock. Okay, I thought that was the sky. Can't go that way. Can't climb over there. Maybe this will kind of loop around. Oh, Lord. I don't know where I'm going. Trail closed sign. Oh, wait. What? Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Thank you. Anytime. Okay, so Thoroughfare Lookout. That's where Delilah is. Thoroughfare Fire Lookout. That's not where I want to go. What is my lookout? <gasps> Wait. Is this my lookout? Oh my god, hold on. Wait, I'm here. I think I'm here. I think I'm here. I hope this is mine. What? Typewriter? Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell... You should get inside. Fuck me. I should get inside where somebody might be in there? Maybe the creepy guy? <gasps> oh, no. Oh. Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker! Holy shit! Um, I'll let the 
Forest Service know what happened? My fucking sheets are gone. They stole your sheets? That's just mean. Yeah, <gasps> it sucks. Oh no. <gasps> Wait, that's the picture. I was gonna say, they stole the picture of me and Julia. They were looking at my cookbook. Okay, I put in a call. What can they do? What can they do about it? Will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii Five-0. Do you have any idea who would have done this? The, maybe the guy in the canyon? Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Um, kind of hard. Yeah, just tell me where to find a gun. I'll just say I don't. Well, I sure don't now. You will. I, I promise. I mean, how am I supposed to feel safe when there's a huge hole in my window and somebody broke in? Day two. Oh, I wonder how many days there are. Wake up. Whiskey? Wait, am I drinking hey, whiskey? I'm awake. I'm awake. Good first day. Awake. Awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. There's no backup. There's no backup? The backup is the two-day hike out of here. So, that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger, and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Henry. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. <laughs> but thanks rhymes with Hank. Mm, no, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, okay, look, we've we've read or we've written more. Oh, it would be nice if I could pick these up. Okay, May 2nd. Sleep is going to be a real problem. Without making this a list of all that's happening all the time, for Henry from the future, this was the night your tower got turned over and your sheets were gone. Going to have to figure that out today because last night wasn't good and I'm fucking freezing. I was 100% sure I wouldn't have any... Jules dreams out here since I was sleeping in a new place and overthinking but sure enough during the 30 minutes I fell asleep around 5 a.m. they were back on the beach in Melbourne that was the moment I knew it's coming where I know the water is going to come up and up and up and I think it's going to I think I'm going to spew or my heart is going to stop or something but this time I woke up before anything happened maybe that's progress I had my fingers crossed that I would just be dreaming about squirrels and mountains and trees and shit, but what are you going to do? So true. So true. Pick up the mug. Can we take a drink? Drop examine. Forest service. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, okay. Now, whenever you say drop, I mean, he fully drops it, doesn't he? Okay, well, I must say, I'm glad to see that we cleaned up just a little bit. That That is nice. Um... I think we could probably clean up a little bit more before we head out. Probably not 100% necessary, but I don't want to be living in a pigsty personally. Oh. Well, Henry doesn't care. Death strikes at two. That seems important. Oh, okay. Well, <gasps> birds of Wyoming. Wow. George Sinclair. 
wish I could look at that. Put down. There we go. Can I put them up here? Put back. No, Henry, no. Put down there. There. And here. There. Okay, see, that's so much nicer. That is so much nicer. Can we pick the mug up that we threw on the ground, potentially? Maybe we'll put that... There. Okay, all right. That's a little bit better. Okay, so I guess let's head out and see if we can find the broken phone lines. Isn't that what we're looking for? All right. All right, let's go. So we have to go back towards the cave, which I feel like was that direction. Man, I really should have been paying more attention to which direction I was going. And I also would like to see if I can figure out how to get my map out, if I'm able to get my map out. I know I definitely was coming from somewhere this where is the tower? It felt like I was coming from somewhere over this way. Didn't it? Oh, look, it's all misty. Wow. Cold morning fog. Report fog. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Um, talk about... Julia. I just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. Well. But you're taking a little break, or... We're... <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. Can you hold that thought? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Okay, there's another hey, box. Uh, I don't think so. Why, have you? Wait, what? Okay. Hey, your button is still down. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right. I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, Julia, girlfriend, ex? Sorry, I, I don't mean to pry. Let's ask it. I'm going to ask about the call. Who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm going to go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. Delilah stepped away. She's annoyed. Okay, well, she left her radio on, and I think she was talking shit about me. So, maybe I'm annoyed, Julia. Or, er, Delilah. Oh. Uh-oh. 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 Not me calling her by another woman's name. Oh, God. Oops. Copy information. It would ni it'd be nice if I could actually look at my, 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 my map. Oh, I press up for my map. Check map. Zoom in. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. Where am I? Oh, I see. The little red dots. The little red dots are showing where I just was. Perfect. Survey communication lines north of the canyon. So, there was the cave that I was in. Oh, so I'm going the total opposite way. Got it. So I've been living at Two Forks Canyon. And then what? The red markers? The red markers are showing where I've been before. Got it. Okay, okay. Currently, I'm right at the Ruby River, which is so cute. I'm going to check the rest of this box. Damaged tree, old climbing gear. Okay. Love it, love it, love it. All right, that's making more sense. So up for map, down for compass. Okay. Jane Ear. Jane Ear, Charlotte Bronte. Release. Can I not keep it? One chance to die. 
uh, Richard Sturgeon. The first book in Crime by the Numbers from the author of best-selling Spectrum spy series, One Chance to Die is the book that started it all. Hmm. Okay. Toilet paper. Um. Oh, look, there's a pine cone in here. Is there nothing useful in here? Toilet paper. I can't take any of it with me. Oh, there's another note. <gasps> what does this note say? Wait, read. Ron, really wish the powers that we really wish the powers that be could issue us radios that didn't suck ass. Most of the time I'd prefer to keep things pen to paper, but every once in a while it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting at this spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter way through a bottle of Fife's instead. Miss you, Dave. <gasps> Ron. Guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout. When was that? 7786? Keep. Does this one have a date on it? No date. Note from Dave. Sister keeps leaving me messages. Ron and Dave. So I wonder, did they used to... I guess they used to work here. They used to have the same job, potentially. Or some job in the park. I take it you fell prey to the Forest Service's big recruiting effort? When it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here? Uh, I got the job out of the paper. I Saw the job in the paper and figured, you know, what the heck. What the heck? I've got no ties and no life. Better go spend what's left of it in utter loneliness. <laughs> Something like that? Yeah, thanks to last summer, the bump in Forest Service budget actually allowed for us to advertise for the job. Glad it worked. What happened last summer? What happened last summer that accounted for this, um, windfall? Jeez. I mean... The federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Why would they do Yellowstone that? Yellowstone is like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news? I and mean, what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the giver? What should they, so what have, should done? they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't gonna burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it. But we touch it every single day. But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. If the goddamn park can burn down again. Oh. Okay, that's kind of crazy. Just letting it burn. I feel like I should have paid more attention to that conversation, but I've been confused trying to think about where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> I can't lie, okay? I can't lie. But Yellowstone was on fire, and they were just going to, like, let it burn rather than try to save it? That seems extremely strange. So this is where that man was standing. And I climbed up from here. But it looks like I can maybe just go down the trail this way, which might be a bit safer. Oh, wait. No, I did. I jumped over here. Maybe. Maybe. I think I could be heading the right direction. Potential. Let's look at our map. Perfect. Zoom in. Yeah, so I want to just go through the cave. Survey communication lines north of the canyon. So, all right, we'll try to find that. There we go. Oh, here's the cave. Awesome. Ooh, 
It is creepy in here. But I like it. Make sure the gate is still closed. You never know. Wow. So pretty. With the fog. I'm going to take a screenshot. I love taking screenshots when the game is pretty. <laughs> I just love it. 303. Oh, I guess I should close this box. That was the one where I found the deer antler. Shit, I dropped my deer antler. Dang it, I didn't even think about that. Okay, so. Whoops. Oh my gosh, sorry. I'm still trying to figure out what buttons to press. North of the canyon. How am I going to get up there? Also, which way did I come from? Did I come from this way or this way? Maybe? Gap in brush. Clear through the brush. Oh, look. Here's, wait. No, that's just a tree. <laughs> I thought that might be like a power pole, you know, for phone lines or something. Oh, God. I don't know that I'm going the right way. I'll have to look at my map again. Oh, wait, there they are. Okay, looks good to me. Looks good so far. See if we can go right up to them. Utility pole. I can see the wire. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Up to the top of the trail. Is that going to be this direction? Probably. Beartooth Point thoroughfare. Beartooth Point, two miles ahead. Oh, wait, it connects here and then goes that way. So yeah, we want to go that way. Is there anything over here? There's a porta potty, old outhouse. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, I'm in the right area. I do believe. Uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. So, I'm assuming maybe that is Beartooth Point? Or, wow, it goes maybe even further? Oh, sheesh. Utility pole. Wait. Are we really cut off? So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. Yeah, for real. Oh, what's that over there? Hold on. Okay, hold on. I gotta investigate. I see something over here. Beer cans? <gasps> More beer cans. Guess what? Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before. Yep. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Yeah, our box is over there. I wonder if we can get to it. Long drop down. Wait, how long? Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, okay. Utility pole. Yep. Hopefully I can get to that box from here. <gasps> Uh-oh, more beer cans. <gasps> What's that? End of the wire. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. That 
That's actually good to hear. I can send someone out to fix it. Good find. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Mm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. Oh. I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. Yeah. Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Also, wait a second. I didn't even make a comment because they were talking. Can we talk about the pair of panties that say go to hell? Um, yikes. That's a very interesting choice, I would say. Oh, more beer cans. Good lord. They are drinking like fish. Oh, I thought that was blood. Okay, and we can climb up there. Delilah wants me to scare them somehow. I guess we always can come back to this area to get to, get to that box. Where am I exactly? Let's look. Oopsie. Whoa, where am I? Oh, wow, I'm all the way up here. So cache 302 is the one that I missed. So up near Bear to Beartooth Point. Um, so we can always come back around here potentially. The girls were all the way at Jonesy Lake. She wants me to go all the way back there. How in the world? Perfect. Okay, what do these say? Supply drop, thoroughfare, fire lookout, Jonesy Lake, two miles, two forks. So wait, I wonder if I can go this way to get to the supply box. Let me just double check it while I'm over here. Just to be safe, you know? Supply drop. Oh, this way. 60 feet. Oh, wait, I haven't even seen one of these before. Can I open it? There we go. One, two, three, oop, three, four. Moss Peak, two forks. Oh, there's nothing in here. Moss Peak, two forks, spruce. Huh. Okay. Wow, look at this. This is so pretty. So windy up here. Okay, we'll go back. We'll go back where we were going. I don't know how I'm supposed to get to that little box that I missed, but maybe, maybe later. I just don't know. I don't know how long the game is exactly. And let's see. Wait a minute. Yeah, I'll probably stop soon. Um, just because I don't want this to be way too long. But maybe I can finish day two. 
hopefully, before I stop. Oh, lordy, I better walk across this. Hello. What is that? Hanging backpack. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. How? Swipe. Here we go. Wait, Brian Goodwin. Brian Goodwin's pack. Oh, pictures. <gasps> well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Wait, reply, reply. Anyway, Oops. yeah, Brian Goodwin. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Why? Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Okay, so Brian Goodwin and his dad were also rangers working this job on Firewatch, but then they quit or they left. They disappeared, she said. Just disappeared one day. Two Forks Lookout. Good climbing. Bear sightings. Six bear sightings. Oh, heavens. Photo dome. The place for photos. <gasps> A note. Report note between Ron and Dave. Hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know him that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Chasing tail. Fossilized claw. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. Maybe they're leaving me an entire creature piece by piece. Maybe, but I really want to take it with me, but it doesn't give me the option to just keep it. So, okay, Jonesy Lake or Two Forks Lookout. So let's go back to the lake first. Delilah said that we should double check the lake to make sure that the girls aren't hey, back there. Sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it and yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. <laughs> Trust me, I know how it is. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? Uh, I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I'm married. I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people, and I like companionship as much as the next person. I'm actually married. But you're here. It's not your business. It's not really your business. I'm sorry, but you're the one who brought her up. Sorry. I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to say sorry. You're right. Yeah, I did. Sorry. Whatever. It's fine. Look, I got to go do a thing downstairs. Um, I'll bring a radio, though. Delilah is unavailable. I can't tell her about the fence. 18 U.S. Code. 
No trespassing. So is that how I'm supposed to get to the lake? And I can't get around it? Hmm. I'm sorry, Delilah, I don't mean to keep... What was that? What the hell was that? I can't drop down here? Oh, there we go. Okay. Ooh. Burned area. <gasps> Burned tree. From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. <clears throat> You're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in the fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. Some sort of trail. What do I keep hearing? Hmm. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Flapjack? Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, <laughs> but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hey, Flapjack. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful. Oh my god. I love them. Hmm. I'm not seeing any signs of the girlies. Oh, girly girls, where's your beer cans go? Rope hook. Where the hell even am I right now? Oh, oh my God, wait, I'm headed back. I'm headed back towards Thunder Canyon. Okay, that's fine because maybe then I'll get close to that box. <gasps> wait, oh my gosh, I never, I never even read the other note. Note from Ron. Okay, this is from, this one from Ron is going to be before this original note from Dave that we found. 6-16-86. Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel Steve. It's your man, Ron. I went up to check on the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself, more than usual for LOs, so I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you said when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks up the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot, Ron. Aw, okay, Ron. Ron's going on a date with Deb. I'm supposed to find the teens. I'm gonna just go down this way. Rappel. Just so you know, I didn't mean to overstep my bounds earlier when you brought up your wife. I know. I know you didn't. You were just making conversation. I appreciate it. So, tell me about her, if you want. <gasps> There's the box! Oh my god, yes! Um, She's... A college professor. She's a college professor. She's a PhD in biology, evolution, and stuff. Ooh, evolution. That's a risque subject in these parts. Man, she sounds sexy. She sure was. Where does she teach? Yale. Yale? Yep. The Yale. <laughs> Shit, Henry. She flew back and forth. I hated it. Yeah, I would too. Yeah. Anyway, that's her. 
Okay, let's open this one. I don't know if this is, wait. No, this is the one by the cave. Shit, I've already been here. Okay, so let's go the other direction. Although, this should lead me back to, that should lead me to the water, to the lake if I follow the water. But this one might take me towards the other box that I needed. <gasps> Music. What's with the ominous music? Ooh, I like it. Chili pole. Sorry, I'm not saying anything at all. I'm just enjoying I'm just enjoying the music. There's that outhouse. So, whoa. <gasps> oh. What's this? Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Hello. Okay then. Okay, Delilah. All right, one. Two, three, four. This box is different. This is not the one I was looking for, but <gasps> a hat. A veteran's hat. Huh. Found an old hat from a Korean war vet. You'd be surprised how many former service members take this gig. Well, makes sense. I'll wear it. I imagine if you've been through war, you probably can't get enough silence. Okay. <gasps> oh! Oh, buddy. Cigarette boxes. Old trash. Oh. A ruined fire finder. Dang, this place has seen better days, huh? Wow. Can't hop down there. Can I? No, that's. Wait, can I go down? <gasps> oh! Oh! <gasps> Whoa! Destroyed guitar? Okay. Dude! Why does he have to throw everything? Okay, they've got the same tree poster that I've got in mine. Ooh, old stove. Nothing in there. So this place looks like it caught on fire, doesn't it? There's cigarettes all over the place, burned bed. Hmm. So is this a cabin or like a lookout, I wonder? Maybe both? Kind of ironic that it caught on fire. Oh. Okay, that's very, very intriguing. Wonder what happened there. And I wonder when it caught on fire, you know? Like, how long ago was that? Okay, I am really just wanting to find. Oh, wait. Hawk's Rest. 
Cash 303. Is that the one that I still... No, I got Cash 303. Was it Cash 305? Which was the one that I didn't get to see? Hmm. Oh, it was Cash 302. Okay, I think I'm headed the right way to get there. I know I need to find the teens, but... I really want to go to that one box and double check and make sure there's, you know, there might be a note or something else. I just don't want to miss it. <gasps> what the? Is that smoke? Wait, should I be following the smoke? Probably. Oh, Lordy. Oh, Lordy. Oh, Lord. Oh, wait, there it is. There it is. There it is. <gasps> How do I get up there? that would be insufferable but then there's another part of me that can't help but indulge the whole hot for teacher thing oh you know, heavy petting in the book stacks furtive glances during lecture okay that's okay. enough okay cool it down Whew, not sure we can stop this train now <laughs> you are ridiculous come on i'm just teasing i know that academia is a pain in the ass professors go wherever they can get tenure yes they do yeah <laughs> Yeah! Okay, thank God we found it. <gasps> that looks to be smoke. That looks to be smoke. Okay, okay, okay. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got a good one here. To Mule Point, Two Forks Lookout. This is pretty eroded. Recommend leaving through Mule Point to Thunder Canyon. There's another of those, another note, which we will absolutely take and read. Oh, and a lot of pine cones in here. What's up with the pine cones? Just a bunch of pine cones. That's all that I can pick up in here. Okay, well, I'm still happy that I did that. I'm happy. Oh, wait, we got to read the note. Okay, note from Ron, 73086. Dave, hey, oh, I got your note about needing to talk, and sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near the canyon helping those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could really help anyway. We're coworkers, you know, amigos, profes professionales. If you need someone to throw back a case and throw back a case with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy. But I'm not great with the life stuff. You get it. Later on, Ron. Okay. So Dave's looking for something a little deeper, and Ron is like just trying to have a good time. What happened with the professor? You guys had so much fun. When did it stop? Hold on. Hold on. There's a smoke column. I see a really thin plume of smoke. I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? <gasps> I reckon so. It looks like it's to it's the tree. southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will Find you? the source of the smoke. Okay. How am I going to get there? I think it said that it marked it on my map. This feels right. Also, I can probably look towards it and go that way. So let's see, let's look at our map. Find the source of the smoke. I guess that might just be cut calm wire southwest. Where did she say to go towards? Campfire smoke. Oh. Whoa, all the way over there? And I'm all the way up here? Good lord. All right, well, we'll go for it. We'll see how quick we can move. I wonder if my mission to find the teens is gone now or if this is just kind of adding on to that because this might be the teens. 
Also, no offense, but like, what's Delilah doing? You know, she's just like sitting up in her, sitting up in her little lookout tower. And that's it. Hmm. Okay, now we're back here. Smoke is still there. Got it. So let's follow this down this way. I wonder if this potentially might lead us back to the lake too. Oh, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. Gosh, it's so pretty out here. Oh, the lake. Oh my gosh. We're back at the lake. What is that? I hear ducks or something, but the girls aren't here. What is that noise? Can't climb up there. Oh Lord, where the hell am I going? How did I come through here before? Oh, on the trail. Duh, stay on the trail, stay on the trail. <laughs> I'm going off-roading here. That might be part of the problem. Oh, look, more beer. <gasps> more beer. Aha. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I wonder. Have they been around here recently? Or are those old? <gasps> oh! Oh my god, that raccoon's getting drunker than hell. Um, there's a critter out here. A raccoon. I'm whispering. Because you're whispering. What do I do with the raccoon? Hi, baby. Pears, pears, pears. Oh. Yes. What? What the hell? I'm doing a crossword and I figured out the theme. It's homonyms. Pears, pears, pears. The clue was couples peeling fruit. <laughs> anyway, hope you're having a good afternoon. Thanks. Okay, perhaps Delilah is also drunk. I'm not so sure. I am not so sure. Oh, okay, so that way. So then the beer cans, maybe the raccoon has been like raiding the camp. You know, that is kind of important to consider. We're thinking that the beer cans mean that it's exactly where the girls have been, but realistically it could be wildlife. Ooh, I think I do want to go this way, right? Yeah. Let's hop down, baby. Okay, that was a big one. Anybody here? Anybody drinking beer? Anyone? Oh wait, is this the this isn't the burned forest again, is it? Ooh, a box. Yes. Wait, is it? No. Yeah. 
I don't think it's the burned box. 6693. I really hope that whatever these um whatever these boxes are set to is not like important in some way. Like I hope that I'm not supposed to be notating the codes that are currently written on them. <gasps> missing person. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? Shoshone. None, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area, the thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. Huh. Oh, shit. Reply. You really didn't like that guy, huh? You really didn't like that guy, did you? I don't know. I honestly... I just had a hard time talking to him. I mean, there are lookouts who seriously won't shut up who call me about every little thing that pops into their head. And then there are those who just want to be left alone. He was the latter. And I'm the former, aren't I? Well, I didn't want to say anything. It's no, pretty it's lush. Fine. I'll just uh, chuck my walkie-talkie into the river. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Oh, good. Perfect. Let's follow the stream. Wow, it's beautiful down here. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. <gasps> Scrap of fabric. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Where was the smoke? Hold on, though. Where was the smoke? Campfire smoke. Oh, I'm headed towards it. Okay. Look at these giant rocks. <gasps> oh my god. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? That seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on <laughs> earth are you? It's another one of those magazines. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Okay, I can't pick these up. Here's their tent. Oh, sleeping tent. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder. <gasps> which would explain that scrap I found. Oh. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear or, um, I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Smart. Good thinking. Okay, very smart. How do I get my... Whoa. Oh, oh! Oh my gosh. <gasps> what does this say? Note. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. Okay, missing person bulletin. Oh wait, we didn't look at that. Mitch Michaels, 316165. Mitch Michaels was last seen around Jonesy Lake on July 3rd, 1981. He was first reported missing on July 29th, 1981 by Forest Service personnel. He is not known to be familiar with the area. 
Mitch was seen around Jonesy Lake in the morning. Ford F-250, nice. Okay, uh, look at this. Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks, dick. <laughs> nice. Report the teen's note. Oh, they're gone for sure. Well, what's it say? They're calling the police and they think I attacked them. They called the police because they think I attacked them. No! I didn't do anything to them. I didn't do anything to them. But it looks like someone had it out for them. Then why do they think it's you? Fuck, I don't know. Huh. Hey, I don't. I believe you. Come on, Henry. All right. All right, it's just, it's weird what happened out here. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know. But they're gone. There's no way to call the cops, they're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. That's all? That's all? Okay, so their clothes were like shredded. I mean, they were shredded, they were ripped apart. So either something actually came and did that to them or find boards downstairs to patch window back to work okay so either they're trying to set us up right they did it all themselves they're trying to make a setup trying to blame it on him clearly by writing him that note surely they did that because they said that you destroyed our stuff so i think that they just Oh man, it's hard to know. I think that they probably did it themselves because they're trying to sabotage him. But also, why would there be fabric on that like faraway tree? Unless they also put some of that over there. But I feel like if they were to do that, they would have like scattered it even further. Um, so yeah, it's like they're trying to make it seem like there was foul play. And they're going to blame it on him. But what if there actually was foul play? What if it's the guy who is missing? What if it's that guy that we saw earlier? What if that is that guy who's missing? What if it was a bear or an elk or something else? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Um, I'm concerned. Okay, I just went ahead and saved it because I think that I've been recording for like probably over two hours at this point. We've gotten through two days. I don't know how many days the game is, but um, I definitely don't want this video to be like insanely long. So I'm going to try to cut this up into two pieces, but it potentially might be more just depending on how long the game takes me. Um, but yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on. Obviously the girls are a little wild, but they're just teenagers. So they're just, you know, they're just being girls. They're just being crazy. And I can tell that they're trying to make it seem like there was foul play, but there actually potentially could have been some foul play. So hopefully we can figure that out and find them. Um, and, you know, hopefully the police don't come to arrest us at our new job. Delilah also, it's also interesting to me that Delilah didn't really seem that worried about it. She was like, well, they can't get a hold of the cops. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Um, so that... I'm trying to find out if Delilah is fishy or not. You know, I want to trust Delilah. I like her a lot, but maybe I like her too much. I don't know. I'm really enjoying this. So I'm having a lot of fun. I hope that y'all enjoyed and I will see you for the next episode. Bye.